Hi. How you doing? I don't know if you know this, but I shoot all my vlogs on these little flip video cameras. I got two of them. One, and then there's two. Just in case one of them dies. Well, when I went mushing at 40 below, one of them did die, as a matter of fact. But on this weekend, I went whitewater rafting in the valley, and at one point, you both died. I didn't think this vlog was actually going to make it, but with a little bit of prayer and a lot of soiling myself, this is what happened. Do you ever feel like once in a while you gotta take a road trip? Well, last weekend I felt like one and it was awesome. It did get a little weird, and then a little weirder. These are black bears right here, ladies and gentlemen. But then suddenly it took a walk on the wild side. That's a black bear mother and her cubs. And though I'm not feeling that threatened, I decide to keep on moving on because folks were bears. My final destination is the Denali Healy area, and you don't lack for the company of bears here. They'll greet you at the door at the gift shop. Heck, they'll even maitre d when you're wanting to go out to dinner. Some of them are even taking a crack at my job. In fact, even the things you wouldn't think would have bears have bears. If you're like me, you've driven through Glitter Gulch, seen the tour buses and the national chains, and thought, well, this is primarily a place for tourists. That's not entirely correct. Just a short walk down the boardwalk, and I'm seeing things that even Alaskans should take note of. I mean, come on, a helicopter flight around McKinley, or a backcountry jeep safari? They even have dinner theater here. I said, hey there! Hey. But the reason I came was this. To spend time in my favorite form of water the liquid form. My downtime will be spent at my favorite dome away from home, the Denali Dome Home. And if it looks familiar, it probably should. It was my launch pad for my mushing trip this past winter. <laughs> Woo! Now it was 40 below the last time I was here, but thankfully winter has changed over to summer, but the one thing that hasn't changed is the relaxed atmosphere that pervades every room of the Dome Home. The only thing you gotta watch out for is the security. But the benefits of getting by him speak for themselves. Alright, here we go. I got a date with the Denali Raft Adventures and a little trip down the Nanana River. Uh, we gotta give you some gear and a bunch of instructions. Uh, now the water temperature of the Nanana is about 36 degrees. So a dry suit is an absolute necessity. And so is looking good. As we head out, I'm feeling invincible and not paying attention to where I'm stepping. When we reach the river, we get a few last minute instructions. We check each other's gear to make sure it's on tight, and I check my waterproof casing for my camera to make sure it's functioning. So far, so good. As we head down to Nanana, I pull out my other camera, the one that's not in the waterproof case, to capture some of the beauty that's surrounding us. And it doesn't disappoint. The peace, the tranquility, <laughs> Come on, you don't think I go whitewater rafting just to sit around all day, do you? Of course not. Get up. Get up. <laughs> but it's at this point that I begin noticing that maybe my not waterproof camera is starting to get a little cranky. But of course the river never stops, so neither can I. I gotta keep rolling and capturing these things like massive ice chunks along the side of the river. These gigantic rock formations and of course the views? Well, the views are unbelievable. Come on! Get up! Then it's off we go again. Get up! Get on your feet! Okay, that got the camera a little wet. Get up! And so did that. And then, the camera died. That's okay. I've got one more camera, and it's in a waterproof case. I should be fine. Now on this leg of the trip, we're coming into the heavier whitewater, so I have an oar in my hand and I'm expected to be part of the crew. So I stuffed the camera inside my vest to capture the footage from now on. After the first round of rapids, we emerge victorious, so we raise our paddles in a little H2O high five, if you will. And then this happens. My last working camera, tanks. Thankfully, after drying out a little bit and replacing some dead batteries, I'm back in business. It's good of you, Scott. Where? There, that one. Oh, yeah. You look pretty proud of yourself. Woo! <laughs>
I believe somewhere in the Bible it says, Once thou hast finished rafting, one must consumeth a steak the size of one's head. Well, the Black Diamond Grill can accommodate. But apparently that's not all they can accommodate. You feel like a covered wagon ride, a ATV tour, or a round of golf? But what I'm interested in is a medium rare coronary on a plate. Well, and maybe a little bit of wine, some grabbing appetizers. It's all good. I got barbecued shrimp, crab cakes with mango salsa, and dippy stuff. I love dippy stuff, but not as much as I love gigantic steaks. Look at that thing. It's almost as though it's challenging me to a duel. I accept your challenge. Now, I put away some pretty big steaks in my day, but by the end of this meal, the steak emerged the victor. Well, let's call it a win-win. With a belly full of beef and my adventure coming to an end, I decide to make one last stop. I'm in the neighborhood after all, and I gotta see my dogs. Strider! How are you doing, buddy? Strider. If you've seen my mushing blog from last winter, you may recognize my wheel dog, Strider. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. After four days in the Denali wilderness with these guys, I couldn't imagine saying goodbye without saying a quick hello to my family. You know, from the get-go, this road trip didn't quite turn out as expected. I got to see a side of the Healy area that was basically hidden to me when I was here during the winter. <laughs> Dad, that was something else! <laughs> Whether it's for a belly laugh or a belly full, the Healy area has a lot of adventures that could lead some people to conclude... It's the coolest ride in Alaska. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it? <laughs> oh, come on. Stay there. Why are you being... Oh, yeah. Hello? <laughs> Stop! Greetings, fellow people. Ty, how are you? <laughs> Howdy! You ever watch, like, football games and you see the guys thanking God for the... Now you may know not. The only time I've ever lost or thought I hit. Only one time is the, the camera crapped out on me. Check, check. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry, myself. <laughs>